So here we are in uh, WordFast Anywhere. So that's the new setup. So basically everything now is uh, stored in projects uh, that can be multilingual. So if your case is that it's the first time you're using WordFast Anywhere, uh, once you have set up uh, your languages, as uh, you will be asked in the beginning, so you will get uh, a new project made for you um, with the language pair you mentioned, and then uh, you can add files to it. So in your situation, uh, if you are using uh, WordFast Anywhere uh, already for a while, then you will have uh, files in it and your files will be sorted in one template project. So project one here, and they will be sorted by language pair. So that's uh, what you see uh, here. So now let's uh, see how we work within it. So here I am starting up with uh, an empty project. So what I want to do, for example, is to add a file. So at the moment, I only have one uh, language pair. Uh, so I can uh, add a file just by clicking here. So you have uh, all the options here, for example, or you can just uh, decide to uh, drag and drop your files here. Okay. Uh, and uh, then you can uh, upload them and they will be added to your language pair as it is the case now. So that's by clicking here. If you want to remove them, well, then you just select them like this. And now this cross appears. So let's remove them. Now, let's say we have uh, several language pairs that we want to work with. And so now what we need to do is to go here uh, to set up our project. So we click and here we see that we can add a language pair in that spot. So let's see, uh, I want uh, English to Spanish. Let's do that. So now I have one. Uh, let's create a new translation memory and a new empty glossary. There we go. So they've been created. That's that. And now let's do um, English to, uh, let's say, Portuguese. Okay, save. Same thing. I will be asked if I want to create uh, translation memories and glossaries. So let's do that. Okay. And you see, I only see one language pair each time. That's because my uh, TMs now are sorted by uh, languages. So now I have several language pairs in my project. So let's save that. So now I can see I do have all my language pairs here. And now I have the choice to add files specifically to a language pair here. Or I can also click here and select all. You see that by default, uh, when I click on the top there, all is selected. That's because I have clicked here. And now, so the beauty of that is that if I select my files now, I can add them to the project again, and they will be added uh, to all the language pairs at the same time. So that's done now. They've been uploaded to all my language pairs. Okay, and now if I want to look at uh, my translation memories and my glossaries, I see they are listed here in that column. Okay, so that's where they are. So if I click on that, now you see I only see what has to do with English to Spanish because I clicked uh, for that pair. Same thing here. Now if I click here, I will see only uh, the uh, translation memories in that language pair. Now, if I want to see all my translation memories and manage them all, now this function has been moved to the WordFast Anywhere tab and I click here. Okay, and now I can see all uh, my translation memories and also I can see where they have been allocated to. So, uh, in the usage column, I can see which uh, files they are uh, allocated to. So this is uh, very useful. So now that's where we find it. Now let's say we want to remove a language pair. Well, I can go here, I can select a language pair, and now if I click on uh, the minus sign, well, that will remove that language pair. So if uh, 
you don't want to be using different projects if your goal is just to add and uh, remove files as you translate them well that's all you need to know you, you will be using that and you can uh, add files and remove them uh, as you go now if you want to use different projects well then let's close this project now I see it here, okay, with some details and I can create a new project or import one or if I select a project, now I can delete it or I can export it. Uh, that will create a GLP package that can be uh, translated also in WordFast Pro. So that's uh, the beauty of that. And the same with import, I can import a GLP package uh, from WordFast Pro. So now uh, let's say I want to create a new project. Well, same thing. Okay, I will select a language pair. So that gives me my default language pair. So let's go with that. Uh, same, select my resources. So that, that's my translation memories and glossaries. So we can go ahead with that. And that's that. And I can save my project. And now it's here and I can add my files to it.